Welcome back. The flu outbreak. Take a look at this now shaking the nation as schools in 12 states are keeping their doors closed to prevent further spread of the deadly virus. So what do parents need to know to protect their children and when should they keep their children home from school? Valid questions. Joining me now with the answer is Dr. Nicole Sapphire. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Heather. Thanks for having so me. So it really is scary. I had a friend who died from the flu at the beginning of the month or a couple weeks ago uh, in Ohio. So this is affecting people who are healthy, who, and it comes on very, very fast. Yes, yeah, so this is absolutely one of the worst flu um, seasons on record. However, it's definitely not the worst if you go back to the Spanish flu in 1918, significantly worse. But this does remind mm -hmm. us of that, reminds us of the tragedies that can come from the flu. You can't mm -hmm. just write off the flu being just the flu. And as you said, it comes on really fast. What we are seeing with this flu in particular, it's a different strain, it's H3N2. Mm -hmm. People are having the flu or flu-like symptoms for a few days. Some people actually have mistaken them for just a bad cold. Right. And then they get better, they go back to work, and then all of a sudden they're really sick and and that's when you're seeing people die and that's because what's called a super infection which means your immune system is down because mm -hmm. it's been fighting off the flu all of a sudden a bacterial infection takes over and a lot of times it gets into the lungs yeah, and that's, that's exactly what happened to my friend yes. because she was trying to treat herself she didn't know it was that bad from right. over-the-counter you know medicine and then like 38 hours later the far majority of people can treat themselves at home. However, you need to know the warning signs. You need to know when to seek medical so attention. So you're, you're a parent and you're watching your child. What do you need to look for? And when should your child stay home? Well, so as a mother of three, yeah. I, I'm on high alert constantly, as you can imagine. And the truth is, again, most children or most adults can stay home. The most the children that are most um, we're most concerned about are less than five years old. Mm -hmm. However, it can affect any child at this point. And so what you look for are, think of a, a cold, but, uh, a, but exaggerated. Mm -hmm. So high fevers, chills, shakes, you want to go see a doctor if you can't control the fever, if you can't keep food and, and liquids down. And if you're very tired, they're very lethargic, tired, or they're just not normal. You mm -hmm. know, it's not just they're, they're sick and, you know, they want to watch more TV. If they don't seem right to you, it's better safe than sorry. Go see the doctor. Mm -hmm. It's very scary, very scary for parents. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, thank Dr. You. Sapphire. Appreciate it. Good tips.